I want to talk about autophagy and what will trigger autophagy more, exercise or fasting. For those of you that are not familiar with autophagy, autophagy comes from the word auto, which means self, and phagy, which means eat. So autophagy is not a thing, it's a condition. And this condition is the recycling of old, worn out cell parts, proteins. And it's a condition that's very good for us because it's all about anti-aging. And when we age, we have a deficiency of autophagy. So it's very important to know how to trigger this condition. And also autophagy is very deficient in chronic disease states. Okay, so what triggers autophagy? Well, it's the suppression of glucose with the increase of ketones. And this is why fasting is probably the most potent thing to trigger autophagy. But exercise can also trigger autophagy. Why? Because it forces the body to use up glucose. And it also increases insulin sensitivity. Because when you exercise, you're actually lowering insulin. When insulin becomes too high, it knocks you out of autophagy. And so if you were to exercise, for example, and induce a nice spike in autophagy, which can then last from hours to even days, it really all depends on how long you go until you eat something. And this is why it's very beneficial to exercise while you're fasting, because now you can get this compounding effect. And so this is why I have to explain the concept and give you additional data, because the autophagy that's created from exercise really depends on the next time you eat. Now you might have a, a nice little acute spike, but it might only last for an hour. As compared to fasting for 48 hours, you are getting a massive amount of autophagy. Now the type of exercise is very, very important as well. Um, the amount of autophagy you're going to get is going to be related to the intensity and the amount of volume of exercise that you do. So a real small little workout isn't going to create that much autophagy. But if you induce a very strong resistant type workout with high intensity, with a good amount of volume, which also includes more stress, you're going to get more autophagy. But on the other hand, if you do a low intense endurance type workout, let's say you're going to do a, a jog or a long walk while you're fasting, even though that's not an intense workout, that will enhance the autophagy that you're getting while you're fasting. Versus if you do a low intensity workout, let's say you go for a walk and then you eat right after, you're probably not going to get any autophagy from that. And so they did these studies uh, with mice on a treadmill for 30 minutes. And so they found an increase in autophagy from 40 to 50 percent. And then when they increased it to 80 minutes, there was an increase by 100 percent. So uh, if you have some um, pet hamsters or gerbils or mice, definitely put them on this treadmill every day to make sure that they can experience more autophagy. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.